In today's video, we're talking about a big problem. An asteroid heading straight for Earth. Scientists thought it would miss us, but now they are worried it's going to hit. Can we stop it? And what would happen if it does hit? Let's find out. An asteroid hurdles on a collision course with Earth. Initially presumed to veer clear. Scientists' calculations reveal a critical error, directing the celestial object straight toward our planet. What ensues? Does this herald humanity's demise? Can we alter the asteroid's trajectory? And why is such an event plausible by 2029? This is the reality we face. Now, consider the ramifications of an asteroid impact in the present year. While it may seem like a speculative scenario, the threat of an asteroid collision is no trivial matter. It looms as a genuine possibility. Initially identified as asteroid 99942, also referred to as Apollo, this cosmic threat demands serious tension. This might hit Earth by the year 2029. A bonus was discovered in 2004, and scientists have been closely monitoring it ever since. At one point, research suggested that the asteroid had a 2.7% chance of hitting Earth. Yes, I know, but since then, new calculations predict that the asteroid will whiz byers at a distance of 30,000 kilometers. Now, considering that the Moon is 380,000 kilometers away, this asteroid will be incredibly close. But at least it won't be hitting us. And of course, calculations can be wrong. Let's say that in this case, they are. And the Pope is coming right toward Earth. Oh, way ahead of schedule. The asteroid is going to hit us this year. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with. A process is 340 meters in diameter. It's a reference that's taller than the Eiffel Tower, but isn't the worst asteroid Earth has ever seen. Lucky for us, it's not even close. The asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs was estimated to be 10 to 15 kilometers wide. So now we're dealing with chicks, a little brother. So what does that mean for us? Will humans go extinct from this impact? Well, more on that in a bit. First, let's address whether there's any hope of halting this asteroid. My apologies for the interruption. It's yet another one of those incessant spam calls that inundate us daily. They've become so frequent that many of us simply ignore our phones altogether. The first step would be identifying the asteroid, which we've already done. We know how big a pole this is and that it's moving at about 30 kilometers per second. Now it's about the defense measures we could use. There's a couple being looked into right now. One of them being the kinetic impactor. This involves sending a spacecraft to collide with the asteroid all in hopes of changing its velocity and trajectory. NASA has run some successful tests using this method. So that's an option. Next would be what's known as a gravity tractor. A large spacecraft would fly next to the asteroid, and over time, its gravitational pull would eventually change the asteroid's path. Laser ablation is next on the list of options. Yay, special lasers could be used to vaporize parts of the asteroid surface. This wouldn't destroy the asteroid, but it could alter its direction as well as the size and impact of it. Yeah. Last but definitely not least, is the final nuclear option. Yeah. That's right. As a final resort, we could nuke opponents. And with the asteroid's massive size, as well as the lack of time we have before it hits us. This might be the only option. But don't be too quick to hit that red button. Nuking an asteroid can have some serious downsides. It could split the asteroid up causing it to fragment. Then you'd have dozens more minor asteroids and meteors coming toward Earth, making the impact even more devastating. And these wouldn't just be regular asteroids either because of the nuke. They'd be radioactive. This scenario would entail significant portions of the world facing impacts from asteroids or meteors, coupled with radiation levels typically associated with nuclear warfare. So, what's the optimal course of action? It's a challenging decision to make. Let me ponder this for a moment. Unfortunately, it's too late now. We've deliberated too long, and apophis is imminent. Brace yourselves. The impact of the asteroid wouldn't be visible from off hour as it struck somewhere in the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, the most probable ending site due to the Earth's predominantly aquatic surface. While the impact might not be observable, its effects would be unmistakable. Once the asteroid collides with our planet, the devastation would rival that of several thousand nuclear detonations, albeit with considerably less radiation. It would make a crater at the bottom of the ocean as big as a kilometer wide. And what would happen next would be even more devastating. 
the massive impact would create giant tsunamis that would rage worldwide several hours after the asteroid touches down. Cities along the Pacific coast would feel a porpoise's impact. That tsunamis would travel across the Pacific Ocean at jetliner speeds. Places in North and South America like California, Peru and Chile would face towering waves due to the energy from the asteroid. It would likely cause waves taller than 30 meters. Waves as big as this are responsible for one of the most devastating tsunamis ever. In 2004, Southeast Asia experienced a tsunami that generated waves over 30 meters tall, killing over 230,000 people. But instead of waves like these reaching just a few countries, this would be a complete global catastrophe. Not only were the Americas experienced these tsunamis, but so would Japan, Australia, and the Philippines. The aftermath would be devastating for these regions, with tsunamis likely claiming millions of lives. This paints a grim picture of what would occur if an asteroid struck the ocean. However, what if it collided with land instead? The impact crater would be considerably larger without the cushioning effect of water. Typically, an asteroid's impact crater can be 10 to 20 times the size of the asteroid itself. Without the presence of water to mitigate the impact, the crater's diameter could stretch up to 7 kilometers, with a depth exceeding 1 kilometer, depending on the location of impact. Such an asteroid could be substantial enough to obliterate entire cities. The initial impact would unleash a colossal shock wave, wreaking havoc across hundreds of kilometers, demolishing buildings, and severely crippling infrastructure. The resulting dust and debris ejected into the atmosphere could trigger a phenomenon known as an impact winter, wherein sunlight is obstructed, leading to crop failures and vegetation depletion, exacerbating the casualties. This environmental catastrophe could persist for weeks or even months, culminating in millions of fatalities, contingent upon the asteroid's landing site. One can only hope that such a collision occurs in a remote area, far from populated regions. However, there is a silver lining amidst this grim outlook. Unlike the mass extinction event that befell the dinosaurs, an asteroid collision of this magnitude wouldn't lead to humanity's complete annihilation. While the event would undoubtedly be traumatic and result in significant casualties, humanity would persevere to see another day. As we confront the looming threat of an asteroid collision, the urgency to act swiftly and decisively becomes paramount. The potential consequences whether the impact occurs in the ocean or on land, paint a dire picture of widespread devastation and loss of life. However, amidst the bleakness, there is a glimmer of hope. Strategies such as kinetic impactors, gravity tractors, laser ablation, and as a last resort, nuclear options, provide avenues for mitigating the impact severity. Though fraught with challenges and uncertainties, concerted global efforts and decisive action may yet avert the worst-case scenario and ensure humanity's endurance in the face of cosmic peril. Time is of the essence, and our response must be swift and unified to confront the impending threat head-on.